The tenant-landlord relationship is something that can get quite complicated, especially around Christmas time. Did you hear about the real estate agent who was killed in the driveway of a home in Coral Springs? Here's the story of what happened to Sarah Trost two days before Christmas of 2021. Looking at the landlord-tenant relationship in the simplest terms, when most people think of the word landlord, it tends to have negative weight to it. A landlord is seen by those who aren't landlords as powerful, wealthy individuals who take advantage of their tenants by collecting rent. In addition to this, if they don't give their tenants leniency or cut them slack when rent is due, they are seen as heartless criminals who are looking to take their tenants' money and make money when they kick them out. In reality, this couldn't be further from the truth. The reality is, a landlord owns a rental property for one reason, and that is to increase their income. When a tenant doesn't pay rent, the landlord is then forced to pay the principal and interest on that property out of her own pocket. It also costs the landlord thousands of dollars in court fees and renovation costs to turn over and re-rent the property. The criminal in this situation is the tenant because by not paying rent, they are going against their written lease agreement and stealing from the owner. One person who got caught in a dispute between a landlord and a tenant was Sarah Trost. Sarah Trost was a beloved real estate agent and mother to a toddler in the Corporal Springs area of Florida. She had been in the real estate industry for roughly eight years and worked for United Realty Group Incorporated. According to Realtor.com, the price range of the homes she sold in the past 24 months ranged from $143,000 to $780,000. She was sitting in her Jeep getting ready to show a home on the 48th Court near Creekside Drive when allegedly a man walked up and fired multiple gunshots at her. At 12.33 p.m., the Coral Springs Police said they received a 911 call about the shooting in the area of 5700 Northwest 48th Court. Paramedics tried saving Trost, but she was pronounced dead at the scene. A few neighbors also commented on what they heard. According to Donna Smith, the house is a rental, and it looked to me yesterday that it was empty. I did not know, but apparently there was an eviction. And there's a story behind all of this, but we just don't know right now. I'm devastated. It's just so shocking and very unsettling, especially this time of year. There was a disgruntled tenant who was evicted. He thought that the realtor who was showing the home was the owner of the home, and she was amused. She was sitting in her car. According to Robin Cipriani, he was sitting in his home at a work meeting when he heard the gunfire. He stated, All of a sudden, we heard two gunshots. I turned to my wife and I said, I think that was gunshots. He recalled, I got a little closer to the Jeep and saw some blood. According to sources, Trost was also a volunteer for the Paw Patrol Animal Rescue and Sanctuary. She fostered many dogs over the years. Rachel Lucera of the Paw Patrol stated, Our hearts go out to Sarah, her daughter, her husband Jason, and her whole family her fur children, as well as her human child. A suspect was then arrested later that Thursday. Raymond Wesley Reese, who is 51 years of age, has been charged with first-degree murder, Coral Springs Police posted on Twitter. Reese was arrested in Boca Raton, Florida, and transported to the Palm Beach County Jail, where he was booked at 8.21 p.m. As you can see, the tenant-landlord relationship can be very scary at times. It brings to question many thoughts as to what took place prior to the tenant eviction and how the landlord went about removing the tenant. Investigators are still trying to get the full story on what happened. As we move to the future, another factor that's going to weigh heavily on this tenant-landlord relationship is the end of the rent moratorium. Throughout the year of 2021, the rental moratorium has ended for many states. As we move into 2022, more and more states will get rid of their rental moratorium, allowing more evictions, which will increase the number of disputes landlords experience with their tenants. If you want to hear and learn more about other terrible tenant stories like this, be sure to check out our other episodes of the Tenants from Hell Show. If you think this is the first time this has happened where a tenant has killed his landlord, you would be wrong. Be sure to check out our other stories titled 94-Year-Old Tenant Kills Landlord Over Chicken and Eviction and Tenant Brutally Kills His Landlord and Hides Her Body in the Woods. 
Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.